All right, uh, so I have a, a uh, antenna matcher, uh, and um, a uh, antenna hooked up to it, of course. And the antenna is up on the roof. It's um, it's an end fed with a ballon. Um, I'm not very happy with it at all. I get I get a whole bunch of RF back into the shack, so I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it back to my old antenna. I think I I think I had a uh, what do they call Wyndham antenna, something like that. Uh, it's a uh, center fed instead of an end fed. The end fed, I think, is the thing that's driving me nuts. I, mean, the, I thought the ballon would fix that, but it just RF's coming right back into the shack. So anyway, so what we have here is we have a transmatch and we have a uh, uh, diagram here. Uh, let's see here. We've got uh, two things going on. We have return loss and we have the Smith chart. Let's change the um, display to show uh, to show SWR. That's sort of what people are interested in. So we're measuring about three here. Um, so let's see if we can't uh, get that little green spotch there up near the 50% point. So we'll first adjust the uh, the inductor. So this is a capacitor inductor capacitor. Uh, doesn't look like we're going in the right direction. I go here. Nothing. Nothing. Really nothing going on here. So let's uh, center the uh, the two capacitors. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, we're a little bit closer up here. Uh, that looks farther away. That looks closer. And that looks close as well. So let's try, let's try this setting here. We'll adjust, uh, we'll adjust this capacitor and see which way it's moving. So I'm moving clockwise. Oh, there we go. We're getting very, very close to the center there. So that's good. Move the other one. See which which direction it goes. Uh, it goes down. I'll go counterclockwise. It goes up. More counterclockwise. It goes up. Uh, so we'll move it back down to kind of near the center. We'll adjust the other one counterclockwise. No, worse. Clockwise, better. Clockwise. All right, let's adjust the right hand knob. Let's see here. Eh. I think we're kind of doing pretty good right there. So the very worst uh, SWR is 1.4, so that's not bad. And you can see that uh, the excursion here. So this is between 14 megahertz and 14.3. So that's the entire um, the entire 20 meter band. Um, so you can kind of see how you use this thing as an antenna match. Uh, we could go back. We could look at uh, we could look at return loss again. And uh, return loss is a dipping kind of over here. It's uh, 20 20. 7 dB, something like that. Let's move it. Eh, that's worse. You can kind of look at where that thing is dipping. I'm moving clockwise. There we go. We're kind of centered in the band. I'm going to adjust this one. It goes down, but goes left. And then this one makes it go lefter. I'm going to turn it this way. So, anyway, it's pretty touchy. Uh, but that's not bad right there for, for return loss. And then we'll go back and look at SWR. Oh, we'll look at the SWR. It looks great. Uh, the worst is right about 1.36, 1.35. So, um, yeah. So, nice little machine. Um, this is with uh, HF. Um, so it should be very, very good at HF. It, this machine should be really, really good up to about 300 megahertz, and um, it, it shows here. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, trying to figure out uh, which knob settings to use for a particular band. Um, we could uh, change bands here. Let's go to um, let's go to stimulus. Let's go to uh, 21. Let's see, where are we here? 21, start 21 megahertz, and we're going to stop 
at 20, what is it, 21, I never remember, 21,450. Uh, stop is 21,450. Oops. Uh, megahertz. And that's uh, doing very, very well there too. So this particular setting would be good for either uh, 20 megahertz or uh, uh, 20 meters or uh, 15 meters. Let's see if we can adjust it a little bit. Um, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. So, yeah, so you can adjust a little bit better. Um, again, kind of, kind of uh, finicky um, for the settings here, but. Uh, once you get them dialed in, write them down, remember them. Uh, whenever you change bands, go back and change your knobs and away you go. So looks like we have a good antenna.